Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the K-Source Custom Fit uh, Extendable Side Towing Mirror. So right off the bat, you can pick these mirrors up as a set, so the driver and passenger side, or they're also available um, individually. You will want to verify your fit by using our fit guide. Uh, so one of the cool things about these with them being a direct replacement, um, you can either just freshen your truck up or if you had damaged ones, these are gonna pop right in. But it seems like what a lot of people are using these for um, is an upgrade. You really have a couple options. One, um, get some type of universal fit type towing mirror or a towing mirror that kind of clamps on to that factory housing. Um, and those, you know, you have to install them and take them, uh, take them off and put them on all the time. You know, I could see where that kind of get annoying. Um, or an option like this, just to replace your whole mirror entirely. And, you know, if it were me and I was pulling a lot of trailers around, I'd probably go for something like this. Um, not only is it more convenient, you get that big lens, but I think it kind of makes the truck look a little tougher too, at least in my opinion, you know, if that's your thing. But, you know, right off the bat, even, even with the mirror in this position, it, it helps out a lot. But let's say if you have something really big, like say, you know, this pontoon behind us, you can actually pull this out and it extends pretty far. So I think it's safe to say, you know, your bases are pretty much covered here. You should be able to see everything you need to and then some uh, with the setup like this. With that said, uh, it is tight. Some people have mentioned that, that it's kind of difficult to pull out. I don't really think it's too bad. I mean, you have to put some effort into it, but honestly, I would probably want it like that. I feel like if it was loose, then you would deal with this thing rattling around and, and bouncing around on you. I mean, when it's this far extended, you know, it wouldn't take much for that to happen. So I would be glad it's tight, to be honest with you. That way everything stays sturdy and you get a good clear image whenever you're looking into the lens. So just to kind of give you guys an example of what you're actually gonna see out of the lens, uh, here's the big picture. And that top portion of the mirror you know, we just have so much more surface area. You're gonna be able to cover so much more ground. So um, even with a big pontoon boat like this, I mean, these things are pretty big. You can still see the tires of the trailer um, and you can still pretty much see around it completely, uh, which is convenient. And then that brings me to my next point, that lens there on the bottom, that really throws out that picture and what we're gonna be able to uh, keep our eye on. So even if I come up and walk essentially what would be into the next lane if you're in the highway you can still see me and you can still have a good idea on what's going on around you so one thing with the mirrors is you're going to be able to retain those features that your truck already came equipped with so in our case our mirror is already power okay so we're still able to adjust that upper lens like we normally would just like a factory deal granted the bottom one is manual so you will have to do that by hand and it even has the turn signals uh, still in there. So everything's plug and play, uh, works just like it would right out of the factory. But with that said, keep in mind, these type of features are only gonna work if your truck already has them. So let's say if you have like a work truck package, uh, for example, that the original mirrors don't have the turn signals and they're not power. You can't take the power set that has the turn signals, put them in and expect them to work. They're just not gonna be wired up from it out of the factory. So um, if that's your case, um, you don't really need this type. They actually have these mirrors in a, a couple different configurations. Scroll through a little bit and find the ones that are gonna be best suited for your particular truck. So I just wanted to show you guys a quick comparison of our new versus old. Now clearly, with this being a towing mirror, we have that advantage of it coming out further and giving us more surface area. But I really just wanted to focus on how this is gonna be more or less just a direct replacement. So new one comes with a new seal. Um, and if we look even at the wiring connectors, so this is factory, this is new. I mean, they're pretty much identical and they're high quality. Um, you know, they put this coating on there for you so everything's in a sheath and they even go as far as to um, give you these new push pin fasteners, which is convenient. A lot of times you end up destroying the old ones whenever you're trying to pull them out. So 
they're actually in the right place and everything too. So about as good as you can get when it comes to uh, a direct replacement uh, type part. So at the end of the day, you know, if I was planning on doing quite a bit of towing, I would probably do the exact same thing uh, our neighbor did here today and just swap out the whole mirror assembly as opposed to uh, trying to make it work with some strap on universal mirror or even the clip on custom fit ones for that matter. You know, those are good for, you know, every now and again on the weekend doing your towing, but uh, you know, if you're going to be pulling a trailer a lot, really can't go wrong. And that'll finish up our look at the K-Source custom fit extendable side towing mirror.